Good morning. I like packing my bag the day before any type of event just because I don't want to be running around the morning off. So I always pack my bag the night before and leave everything ready to go just in case I sleep through my alarm. All I have to do is have a quick shower, get ready, do my makeup and get out of the house. Usually the bride wants me to capture the morning of her wedding so her getting ready with her girls and her parents which means that my day usually begins very early in the morning. Sometimes they want me to be there really early at like 7 a.m. but other times they want me to start a little bit later in the day. Today they wanted me to start at 9 which was not so bad but I do have to stay until midnight so it's gonna be a pretty long day. But I honestly do not mind at all because I just love my job. I love just following the bride and the groom around the whole day and capturing all of their happy moments. Like that just makes me happy. <laughs> Knowing they're gonna have all this footage to look back on and all their special memories are gonna be captured forever. I honestly just love the concept of this job. So even if I have to work long hours, it never feels like I'm working 12, 15 hours. So I can never complain. <laughs> we just left the bride's house. Now we are at the church, which was only like a two minute drive from her house. So that was really nice. So now it's time for the mass and then we're gonna go take some pictures at a really beautiful park. This roller is the freaking best. If you don't like bacon and put it on powder, this thing is the best thing you can get. I do want to respect their privacy, so I'm not gonna show too, too much. But yeah, we went to church, then we went to take some pictures at this beautiful park. The bride also wanted me to film some TikToks for her, which was super fun. So we did this while we were there. If you wanna see how they turn out, you can go check them out on my Instagram and my TikTok account. But yeah, then we headed to the venue where the cocktail hour and the reception were gonna be held. We had some dinner, we partied a lot. <laughs> took some night pictures and just kept having fun until it was time for me to go at midnight. Oh my God, last night was so much fun. That party was amazing. And the food, mm, so good. I ended up getting home at like 1.30 because I live about an hour away from where the wedding was. So it was definitely a long day. I'm already up. But yeah, it was definitely a very long day. I woke up at like 6 a.m., left my house at like 7 or 7.30, and then I worked the whole day, like nonstop. Well, I stopped while we were having dinner, but everyone else was doing the same thing so but yeah even though I got home super late I had a great sleep now I feel amazing so let's get to work today I have to spend basically the whole day editing that's usually how it goes I just go to an event and then the next day I have to have it completely off because I have to edit and send all the raw footage and everything to the bride so it's a pretty busy day I would say just as busy as the actual wedding day but that's just because my goal is to deliver all the footage all the content everything to the bride within 24 to 48 hours 24 is my goal 48 is if it gets complicated or whatever but usually i aim for 24. but yeah it's time to wake up so i can start editing let's do it also because I look rough. <laughs> Let's go. I offer different packages, so my workload depends on the package that they chose. Sometimes I only have to edit a little bit, but other times they ask for a lot of videos. It really depends and it's not always the same amount of work, but it does take me between a full day and a day and a half to finish everything and send everything to the bride. And there's usually so much beautiful footage that it makes it kind of hard for me to pick just a few little clips here and there because I just want to use it all. But yeah, uh, being a wedding content creator is a pretty new thing. So if you have any questions at all, leave them down below in the comment section. And if you want me to make more videos like this, also let me know. But I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.